Welcome to Tips and Tricks video tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your eStore once you've installed your plugin. This way, your site can be set up in just a few minutes. First thing, I'm in the WordPress eStore area. You can get there by clicking on WP eStore on the left hand side. To set up the basic configuration, click on Settings. Now we're on the General Settings page. Here you can configure your language, your currency code, the currency symbol you want to use, and if you've created a Terms and Conditions page, this is where you would enter it. You would have to create this page ahead of time or at least know the URL. For products per page limit, this is where you can change how many products you want to display on a page. Sometimes people want to list all their products. Let's say there's 40 products. So this is where you would change that number. Next, you want to set your return URL. This is more of your thank you page confirmation page and you would set this up on your thank you page. You might include some directions for your customers to expect. You can set up the cancel URL where your customer will be redirected if they decide to cancel their order. Normally, this would be the store's homepage. By checkmarking the automatic redirection to the checkout page, this automatically sends the customer to your checkout page once they add a product to the cart. You can also enable the save and retrieve cart feature. This allows your customer to save what's in their shopping cart and be able to access it at a later time to continue shopping. It's a very cool feature. Here you can set a base shipping cost. This would be your default shipping cost if you decide not to customize it when you add a product. Here you can add your tax for the order. And here under digital product delivery settings, you can set the duration of the download link. So you can change how many hours someone can access this link for. Now the download limit count allows them to download your product a certain amount of times within that download period. I would also suggest using the shorten encrypted download link this way in their email or wherever they see their download link. It's not a full URL. Now if you want to test and debug your site, check mark enable debug and if you want to test your PayPal settings, check mark Enable Sandbox Testing. Now, Update Options. Now that your options have been updated, click on Payment Gateway Settings. It's very easy to set up your PayPal settings. All you have to do is change your email address. If you want to use a merchant account other than PayPal, you can set up your to checkout and your Authorize.net settings here. Click Update. On the email settings page, you will configure the email address where the emails are coming from, as well as the confirmation email your customers will receive. You can also customize the email you will receive as well. Here, I'm changing the email address based on the example given. You'll put your name and then the arrow, your email address, and then a closing arrow. You can change the subject of your confirmation email. And then in the buy your email body, this is where you would change your text. So you can customize your confirmation email with any additional information, instructions, and details in regards to their purchase, as well as include the download link if it is a digital product. This would be a great place to put your social media links. Now the notification email address is the email address where you want to be notified that you received a sale on your website. You can customize your seller email subject. This way a sales email stands out and you can celebrate. And again, you can change the text of the notification email you will receive. Go ahead and click on update and then click on autoresponder settings. WP eStore allows you to integrate multiple autoresponder services. So for example, once your customer makes a purchase, they will automatically be added to a list and autoresponder series that you have set up in your preferred system. 
And that's it for your basic configuration settings. Now you can move on to how to set up a product. And in the next tutorial, I will show you how to exactly do that. Thanks again for purchasing Tips and Tricks WPE Store. I'll see you in the next video.